Good afternoon, uh, Don Briggs, your mayor. I am joined by Commissioner Frank Davis, and as I noted last week, Commissioner Davis, myself, and Kathy Willits, our town manager, serve as the town COVID-19 response team. As of uh, April 9th today, the town is still operating under a state emergency and amendments as issued by Governor, Governor Larry Hogan. Stay at home. It is not mandatory, but it is requested. Please go up only when you absolutely have to. Try to distance oneself from another by six feet. Yesterday, I participated in a conference call with the county executive and other mayors. Uh, we were joined by Secretary of Commerce Kelly Schultz. The state has been overwhelmed with requests for COVID-19 loan assistance to businesses and may be 100% committed at this time. If you call there, expect long, long waits for, for service. Uh, they're overwhelmed at this time, but they're trying to keep up. A uh, suggestion, their recommendation is to look to federal, available federal assistance. Today, I participated on a conference call with over 50 other people from around the state with regard to food banks. Uh, we'll have an update, uh, Commissioner Davis, on our local uh, food bank, but statewide, uh, $12 million has been pumped into purchasing food for the Maryland Food Bank. It's, it's, it's a private organization, and they've come up with a 90-day program. Uh, they're relying on purchases more than donations at this time. MD food, uh, has dipped into their own, MD food Bank has dipped into their own reserves uh, up to $500,000 uh, to purchase goods. Uh, we have a wonderful, dedicated staff of volunteers at our food bank. Um, there have been no reported uh, updates on uh, who's been hospital hospitalized or who has uh, uh, died in Frederick County. We're trying to get that information from the Frederick County Health Department, but it hasn't been issued. We have, we have no information on, on uh, what, what's going on in our town, and, and uh, we'll have to uh, dig a little deeper on that, but see what's issued. Uh, now, uh, excuse me, to attempt uh, to assure operational services for our community, the town fields staff and office staffs are working on a rotating basis. This is the same announcement I made last week, but I just wanted to let you know it in there's uh, Monday through Friday, 9 to 3, staff member will be monitoring phone calls on Friday. They will not be monitoring calls on tomorrow because of the uh, of the holiday, Good Friday. Uh, the exceptional uh, exception being, uh, well, Good Friday and the holiday. Uh, water and watershed treatment plants are supervised every day. For all under uh, for all uh, updates, please go to our town website, Emmitsburg Gov, the town Facebook page, or call the us 301-600-6300. 301-600-6300. Vigilant Hose Company is another uh, source of information uh, that uh, is consistent with what we're uh, officially putting out. 301-447-2728. Uh, 301-447-2728. Again, Jubilee is well stocked with the exception at times of bread and toilet paper. They are doing a great job. Shipments are being made as, as generally scheduled. Local hospitals, uh, Gettysburg is still receiving patients. And, uh, as, and as far as uh, the latest update, uh, Commissioner Davis will add to this, but they have 27 beds available with ventilators, and he can go into more depth on that. Uh, during the last three and a half weeks, over 1,500 children take home meals have been prepared by Country Kitchen in Thurmont uh, and some of our local restaurants. We're, uh, they're being served at Vigilant Hose Company on the square, their location there in West Main, Monday through Friday, 10 to 12, is it 10 to 12 or 1230? 10, 10 to 12, food for kids, uh, has also been given, I mean, out 40 to 50 weekend packets of food each Friday. As far as far, uh, the information we have is that the, um, uh, Meals are still being served at the Yellow School Bus every day, uh, weekday from 11.30 to 12.30 at Jubilee. 
and also there will be uh, weekend packets. Look for the yellow bus. All these take home meals will continue to be prepared for pickup for children weekly. The senior center is delivering 50 meals a day during the, uh, during the weekday service. If you need anything, please again call me, Frank, uh, Commissioner Davis, or the town or Vigilant Hood's direct number. Uh, to restate, one of the first things the response team did was to secure an understanding with a partner for food supply chain for the town. We have a backup plan in place, and this would also cover uh, assistance at the food bank. Please continue to call our restaurants for takeouts. Our, business, uh, our businesses are overwhelmed, and, and uh, they really appreciate everything you're doing for them. Our response team are continuing uh, its contact with our local partners, the Seton Center, the Shrine, and the Mount. Regularly, we take part in, part in food, uh, excuse me, take part in uh, phone conversations with other mayors and county exec and the county executive. Please, please rely on official information source, uh, the town, and vigilant hose with regard to COVID-19 and the town response. Of course, this would imply that you check with Frederick County and the state, but locally, uh, the official source is the town and vigilant hose. Again, especially give thanks to everybody out there. Uh, again, I'll list them again, the first responders, doctors, nurses, pastors, town staff, and those that serve at Jubilee, uh, the pharmacy and the gas station or restaurants. Vigilant Hose will be giving a uh, freeze to dinner uh, this uh, Sunday. And uh, the Commissioner Davis, if you'd like to chime in here at this time, please. Thank you. Yeah, for those who need, uh, and with the generosity of Jubilee, we're able to uh, prepare Easter dinner. Uh, and that will be held at our activities building on Creamery Road from 11 until 1. That'll be from 11 to 1, just a two-hour period. Uh, you'll drive into the parking lot. You'll be met by a gentleman there that will direct you uh, on how to go about. You'll never have to get out of your car. There'll be no personal contact with anybody other than someone bringing your meals to your car. Uh, so for those who need, uh, there are sign-up sheets at uh, different locations in town, including uh, Dollar General, uh, the two uh, lunch uh, distribution sites, or you can call the firehouse again at 301-447-2728. Uh, and there will be limited deliveries for the elderly that, that need that. So um, any questions, you can just give us a call. Okay. We have, uh, again, that text number is 240-446-4007. 240-446-4007. We'll wait a minute or two for that. Let's see if we have any coming in. But that option will be available this afternoon if you'd like to call in and we can we'll get back to you with information. Tomorrow is Good Friday and Sunday is Easter. There are no church services in town. Huddle up with your family as best you can. If capable, reach out to someone who doesn't have as much or is alone. From the town staff, the commissioners, myself, please accept our best wishes for a blessed Passover and Easter. Thank you. Have a good day.